Good morning, students. Welcome back to your English One class. Uh, today we shall continue with this lesson, Expert Detectives from your um, Honeycomb book. We have finished part one, and uh, we have done about how Maya has the more detective mind, and she does not trust anyone. Whereas Seven is quite understanding, and he is seen arguing with his sister. His sister keeps saying that Mr. Nath is a crook. Why does she come to the conclusion that he is a crook? A crook? because of his cars, because he stays alone in the house, he doesn't go out anywhere. And so this is how she draws this conclusion that he is a crook and that he has a trunk in his house which is full of money, millions of rupees and gold and silver and uh, all those sorts of things. And But uh, uh, her brother, that is Nishad, also called Seven, is quite skeptical, skeptical in the sense he does not believe. He does not believe without seeing. Many of us are like that. We get carried away very easily, whereas some of us, we question things. How is it possible? But Maya, for Maya, her imagination ran, ran wild. Her ima imagination could go very, very far. And this is how she comes, uh, she says that Mr. Nath is a crook. But their mother says that he's a very polite person because he is a patient of uh, their uh, mother who is a doctor. So in the last class we had also, we had continued with the uh, conversation between Maya and uh, uh, Nishad, wherein Nishad keeps saying that he cannot be a crook. And one day it so happened that uh, Maya went to stay with her uh, friend and uh, Nishad had to go with his mother to her clinic. And during that time he visited Mr. Nath's room, Mr. Nath's uh, apartment or uh, house and there he took his hand and gave him some chocolate and when he came back uh, Maya asked him were you able to peek were you able to look into the trunk and uh, Nishad says no I wasn't able to look into that trunk and then but he found out some things from Ramesh Ramesh told him that yes they, he had a Sunday visitor who would visit him every Sunday. He was tall, fair, uh, stout, and he wore spectacles, and he was a very talkative man. This visitor of Mr. Nath, who came every Sunday. And every Sunday, he took two meals up. Yeah, so this fellow was a regular visitor every Sunday. So now they have this conversation, and uh, let's see now what happened. And on this particular day, it rained heavily. The monsoon started, the monsoon season or the rainy season started and it rained very heavily and their school was supposed to open on this particular day but the school declared a holiday because of heavy rains. So Maya thought why to waste this beautiful day so she went to her room and took out a sheet of paper and she began to write down facts, right? began to write down points as to um, how or why she thinks that Mr. Nath is a crook. She wants to make clear with Nishad as to why uh, this uh, Mr. Nath can be a crook. And today we will do part two. Okay, so please listen carefully and uh, keep your books open when you are watching this video so that it will be clearer to you. You can read along and underline the important words, the meanings of words that I'm giving you. You can write down their meanings. You can also pause the video and write the meanings okay so let us continue with the part with part two some part of part two not the whole part just some part of part two okay okay so like i told you in my introductory video about that day being a holiday because of the monsoon season because it started raining very very hard and so maya and michelle were at home having an, an unexpected holiday so she thought why to waste this time so she went to her room and Nishad also went to the room now part two I wrote in large block letters I as in Maya catching a crook so what you see in bold here is what Maya wrote on the paper catching a crook expert detectives Nishad and Maya pundit by appointment to the whole, whole world so this is what she wrote on the top, making herself and her brother a, uh, a detectives. And it seems like the whole world has appointed them to become or to find out who Mr. Nath is. 
But this was not true. This was just Maya's imagination. This was the title. This was the heading on the paper that she wrote. Then I began writing. About half an hour later, I turned towards Seven, who was lying on his tummy, chin cupped in his palms, reading comics. Want to hear what I have written? I asked. So after about half an hour, she turned towards Seven. Seven was laying on the bed, reading a comic. He was lying on his tummy. Tummy means stomach. He was lying on his stomach with his chin cupped in his palms. Palms means his hands. So his chin was in his hands and he was reading comics. And then Maya asked him, Do you want to hear what I have written? I asked. Maya asked him. She had already finished writing whatever she had to write about Mr. Nath. And she wanted Anisha to listen to what she had written. In this picture you can see how uh, Nisha is laying on the bed with his, uh, with his palms. Can you see the hands on his face and with his uh, hands cupped on his chin. Cupped means in the shape of a cup. So he's laying there and reading his comics while uh, when uh, Maya turns to him and asks him, asks him whether he wants to hear or listen to what she has written. That is the meaning of cupped. He had his chin cupped in his hands, in his palms. He looked up questioningly. Questioningly means like a there was a question on his face. It seemed like he was asking uh, Maya what, uh, what, he, what she wanted him to hear. I have listed all the facts we know about Mr. Nath which might help us to trap him, I said. Want to hear? So he looked at, up at her questioningly and she said, I have listed all the facts. He said, I have written down all the facts. Listed means made a list. So she had made a list of all the facts that they knew about Mr. Nath. And she said, this is the way that we can trap him and we can find out whether he is a crook or not. And she said, what do you want to hear? Seven nodded. Nodded means yes. He nodded. His head went up and down. Not side to side, but nodded means up and down. Shook means side to side, but nodded means up and down. Then she, then she continued reading. Fact number one, I read. His name is Mr. Nath. We must discover his first name. So he says his name, the fact number one is, his name is Mr. Nath. But what we need to find out is his first name. First name means like, for example, Rahul. Rahul is a first name, Rahul Das. Das is the uh, surname. So they, she said we need to find out his first name. Do you think that's his real name? Maya, Nishad asks. Nishad asks Maya, do you think Mr. Nath is his real name? Probably not, I said. Most crooks have an alias. I added a big question mark after Nath. She, she says, maybe not. Maybe his name is not at all Mr. Nath. Because may, most crooks, most crooks means most uh, thieves and all that, they always have an alias. Al alias, you know, alias is a name that people, they just keep for that so that nobody can find out who they are. They keep a false name. Alias is more like a false name. So she says, maybe that's his alias. And then she put a big question mark after Mr. Nath's name on the paper. That question mark means they need to find out more. Fact number two I read on. The tenants at Shankar House say he is mad, strange and unfriendly. This fact also maybe she had found out from Mr. Nath's neighbors at Shankar House. Shankar House is the name of the apartment or the building in which Mr. Nath was living. She said she had found out that about something about him and she had come to know. The tenants means the people living in Shankar house. In, in Assamese you call, it, call them Bharatiya. Yes, people who stay in the house. Uh, if you give them, if they give you rent. So they people staying there say that he is mad, strange and unfriendly. So they call him unfriendly. That is Mr. Nath. So this is the fact number two that she had listed on the piece of paper. There are many facts. There are about nine facts. And this is number two. So number one is, that may not be his real name. He must be having an alias. And fact number two is, the people at Shankar house say that he is mad. Unfriendly, not friendly. Unfriendly means not friendly. And strange, very peculiar kind of person. They all say that at Shankar house. Now let's move on to fact number three. Number three, 
he doesn't wa- he doesn't talk to anyone and is mannerless so this is all that maya has assumed about mr nath she says fact number 3 is he doesn't talk to anyone and is mannerless mannerless means he has no manners but he did talk to us maya and mama says he is very polite nishad interrupted Nishad did not agree with her. Nishad said, "No, Maya. He did talk to us when we went to his house. Remember, the marble went in, and he spoke to us. And Mama says he is very polite." Nishad interrupted. Interrupted means he spoke in between. He only talked to us because he had to. I said, and since he was under Mama's medical treatment, he had to be polite. This is what conclusion Maya came to. Maya said, "No, he was polite to us because he is Mama's patient. That is why." he was polite otherwise he he will not be polite to everyone he was polite to us because he had to being mama's um, patient that's what she said now moving on to fact number 4 fact number 4 he doesn't receive any letters no letters come to him how can how can that be possible i'm sure he must be having someone so how doesn't how come he doesn't receive any letters how come he doesn't get any letters from anyone Seven nodded. Nodded means seven agreed to what she was saying. Now moving on to number five. Number five, he's been living in room ten of Shankar House for more than a year. I continued. She said, for more than a year, he's been living in the same room, number ten of Shankar House. He hardly goes out. That's what she says. Fact number six, he doesn't work and sits in his room all day. He doesn't go to work. He ne- he needs money to eat his food to pay his rent, but he never goes out. So how does he earn his money? He just sitting in the house the whole day, sitting in his room the whole day. How is he earning money? This also was very strange to Maya. Number seven, the kids in Shankar House and even some of the grown ups are scared of him. She says the kids at Shankar House and even some grown ups. Grown ups means the elder people. They are. most of them are scared of mr nath so why should they be scared of him that means something is wrong with mr nath this is what she thinks how she imagines so this is these are the number till number 7 we have done here so don't forget number 1 is that may be not his real name number 2 is people at shankar house call him mad strange and unfriendly number 3 is he doesn't talk to anyone and is mannerless Number four is he doesn't receive any letters. Number five, he has been living in the same room, number ten of Shankar House, for more than a year. Number six is that he doesn't work and he sits. Uh, he doesn't work and he sits in his room the whole day. Number seven, the kids in Shankar House and some of the grown-ups, some of the elder, older people, are scared of him. So this may be the reason why he can be a crook. Now we have two more facts to cover. So now coming to number eight. Number eight, he has no visitors except for a spectacled, fair, fat man who visits him on Sundays for lunch. That is another fact that they came to know from the neighbors that he had no visitors except one visitor who would visit him every Sunday. And this person who visited him every Sunday, he was spectacled. Spectacled means he wore spectacles, glasses. He was fair and fat. Number nine. Fact number nine. Food and tea are taken to his room by Ramesh from the restaurant downstairs. So, food and tea are taken to his room. He does not go down to the restaurant to eat food. Instead, Ramesh. Ramesh is the waiter who takes the food upstairs to his room. That is fact number nine. So these are the facts, and we'll continue with number nine fact. So food is taken to him from downstairs by Ramesh. He doesn't care what he eats. Pays his bill immediately and tips well. That ends my list. Have I forgotten anything seven? So she said that uh, Mr. Nath he doesn't care what he eats. He's not very particular about what he eats. He he eats this dal and chapati like we came to know before, and he pays his bill immediately. He does not take anything. He does not uh, take anything by paying money afterwards. Whatever he eats, whatever he takes, he pays the money. he pays the bill there and then and he tips well tips well well means he gives them extra money 
That ends my list. Have I forgotten anything? So she asked Seven whether she had forgotten any more uh, facts. Nishad had obviously not been paying too much attention to my list of facts. All he could say was, "Poor man, Maya. He must be so lonely if he doesn't have any friends." It seemed like what uh, Seven was saying to Maya. It seemed like Seven was not listening very carefully. He was not paying much attention to what Maya was saying. because at the end of the nine list he said poor man he was feeling sorry for mr nath and he said poor man maya he must be so lonely he was thinking about mr nath's loneliness that he's staying alone in the room nobody to visit him no one likes him only one visitor that to only on sundays and he doesn't have any friends so seven or nishad was feeling sorry for uh, mr nath How can a crook have friends, idiot? I almost shouted. So he, she nearly, she said, "How can a crook have friends?" She nearly, she almost shouted. She didn't shout, but she almost. She nearly shouted. How can a crook have friends? And she called him idiot. At least he has one friend, the one who meets him on Sundays. Said Nisha. Nisha was quite happy that at least Mr. Nath had one friend who would visit him on Sundays. A brilliant thought occurred to me just then. Occurred to whom? To Maya. One brilliant, excellent thought came to her mind. That man must be Mr. Nath's accomplice in crime. I said, "Oh yes," she said. That man must be Mr. Nath's accomplice. Accomplice means his partner in crime. They must be committing crimes together. I said, "Maybe he keeps all the loot and he comes now and then to give part of it to his partner." so her imagination was going far 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 away she said yes that man must be his partner and he comes here every sunday to give him, to give mr nath his share of the loot loot means whatever they have stolen whatever they have robbed so some part of it or mr nath's share he would come and give to mr nath that's what amaya thought that he was his accomplice his partner in crime we call a person accomplice when they are doing something uh, bad something dangerous so she assumed that that man who visited them every sunday who visited mr nath every sunday was his partner so maya is sure that that man is his accomplice and give part of it to his partner mr nath for expenses expenses means to spend to eat his food to pay his rent to buy his clothes maybe for expenses that is called expenses that's it i'm sure i'm right and maya was absolutely sure yes 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 i am right this man is his accomplice a partner in crime or a helper in crime and this is how uh, mr nath eats his food or pays for his food and he is also able to tip very well so you please uh, read all the uh, nine facts once again serially or sequentially you please read those again and i'm sending you some homework as well please uh, do the homework okay write the answers and don't submit now i shall ask you when to send just do the homework and keep it ready okay so that's all for today have a good day bye bye